Hello guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a long press hotkey. In other words, press a key and hold it down for the hotkey to run like this to launch Chrome, for instance, or another hotkey um, that has an option for you to abort the launch of the function if you press it longer than the usual. If you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. All right, let's get started. Now, a normal way you would create a Alt A hotkey um, to run, say, Chrome would be in this manner, right? So if I go ahead and run it and press Alt and A, I would get Chrome launching. Now, I'm going to show you how you can do a long press of the hotkey in order to launch the function that you have created. And I'm going to start with a single key press instead of two keys like an Alt and A, but I'll show you both ways later on. Let me first show you how you can create a single key hotkey using special keys like Alt, for instance. You would think that if you want to create a hotkey using an Alt key, you would think you can just go exclamation mark and this will do it, but it doesn't because it takes exclamation mark as an exclamation mark, which means you need to press Shift and number one to get that exclamation mark in order to launch Chrome. Now, instead of that, what you need to do is you need to put in Alt, and this Alt refers to both the left Alt key and the right Alt key. My keyboard has a right Alt key, and I'm gonna be using the right Alt key by specifying R in front of Alt. Um, because I use the left Alt key, which uh, you can access by putting in an L before the Alt, but because I do a lot of Alt tabbing, I won't be using that. It might block my Alt tab. Um, you might be able to avoid that by putting in the tilde sign to push through the left Alt key, even when you try to launch the hotkey using the Alt key, left Alt key. Um, but in, or, or in order to avoid any accidents, I'm just going to use the right Alt key, which isn't often used um, at all. So uh, in order to create a long press hotkey using the right Alt key, what I need to do is I need to put in a key wait function, a key wait function to wait for my right Alt and time of say one second. Now what this means is um, this hotkey when it runs is going to wait for me to press or lift the right Alt key over a period of one second and if it doesn't register any um, action with the right Alt key, what it's going to do is it's going to give this variable called error level a value of true or one. So that is going to make this if statement true and therefore run what comes after. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you uh, create a message box that shows you the error level. Now, if I press, if I run this script and press the right Alt key and pr continue pressing it down, it's going to register an error level of one and therefore it's going to meet the if statement. It's going to show me this message box. So I'm going to go ahead and press the right Alt for one second and it gives me number one, which represents message, which represents the, the value stored in this variable called error level, All right? So let me just go back and remove all these curly brackets and all that. I'm just going to use a shorthand for the if statement. So this is good enough for it to work. Now, instead of running, running the message box, I made it so that it opens Chrome. So if I go ahead and run this, you know, press the right alt key, um, key and hold it for one second, it launches Chrome. I can make it go longer by saying uh, three seconds instead and press Alt key and wait for three seconds. It launches Chrome like that. So that's how you create a single key long press hotkey. Now, quickly gonna show you how you can also create a double key um, hotkey as well. And let's say, let's go back to that Alt and A example. So I'm going to convert this into a double key hotkey. 
So let me put a tilde sign because I want to um, I want to use all key as it is and uh, an ampersand sign and a now this is all that's required and I need to change this as as a because the last key that's going to be pressed is a and it's going to wait for me to lift the a key um, and if I don't lift it then error level is going to be one and it's going to launch Chrome. So if I go ahead and run this and press Alt and A and hold both keys for one second, it's going to it's going to launch Chrome. Uh, notice how it launched it twice, and that's because the hotkey ran twice over a period of uh, two to three seconds. So likewise, if I go back to my right Alt key hotkey, run it and continue pressing down the right Alt key, it's going to continually open up Chrome like that. Um, however, if I just uh, tap the right alt key quickly, it's not going to launch Chrome because the error level will be set to zero. All right. And the next thing I'm going to show you is how you can create a, a hot key that launches Chrome by doing a short tap on the right alt key or short press of the right alt key with a long press option to abort the launch of Chrome in case you change your mind and decide not to launch Chrome. Now let's go ahead and create that. So let me just remove all this and I'm just going to extend the time to two seconds for the key weight to the weight. And what you need to do is if error level. And this time I'm going to create some curly braces. And if error level is true, make it wait for another 10 seconds another action on the right alt key otherwise else run chrome and this is it that's all that's required so now what's going to happen if i launch the script is it's going to allow me to press the alt key and if i uh, lift the alt key up within a period of two seconds it's going to not satisfy this because it's going to produce an error level of zero and that need this needs to be an error level of one in order for the if statement to be to be met so it's going to go straight into else and it's going to run chrome so if i go ahead and press the right alt key um, if i tap it it's going to launch chrome if i press and hold it for up to two seconds one and press it it's going to launch chrome as well however if I don't lift up my right alt key after tapping it to launch the hotkey over a period of two seconds, the error level would be set to one and therefore it's going to kick into this key weight right alt key for 10 seconds. Now this can be longer than 10 seconds or shorter than 10 seconds, but if I set it to a two uh, short of a, of a time and, and run the script, what's going to happen is it's going to wait for two seconds and then wait for another one second and it's going to run the hockey again so there's going to be an, a, a chance when you know you might be thinking that you have lifted the key after two plus one three seconds but in fact it went over three seconds in and you went into the next round of the hotkey being run and therefore you're in the two second period now so it's safe to set this as a, a, a longer period of time of, of 10 seconds if I go ahead and run the script and if I do a quick tap it's going to launch Chrome if I press it and hold it for two seconds one two that was slightly quicker than two seconds but I just wanted to show you that it launches if you if you lift the right alt key within two seconds and it's going to run but if I hold it for a longer period of time say one two three then even if I lift it, it's not going to work because it falls into this line um, where it just waits for alt key and doesn't run the Chrome. Now, so in this manner, you can press and hold the key to decide if you want to launch or uh, run a particular function that goes in here. And if you later on decide within the time frame that you have provided here, um, if you decide not to launch it, then you can just keep holding it and lift it uh, 
when you think enough time has passed to abort the hotkey. So that's about it for today's uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.